Lo-Fi Hip-Hop. Whether it's from the hugely popular 24-hour streams, or from the background of some of your favorite content, you've almost certainly heard it before. It's this incredibly relaxing, easy to listen to, repetitive style of music, and like, it's so good. But one of the things that's kind of interesting about it is that it's thought of as being a little too samey, without too much musical complexity a lot of the time. And while that sounds like a bad thing, in the world of data science, something simple with easily recognizable patterns is kind of like the perfect data set. And so I had the idea of trying to take advantage of these characteristics to see if we can actually teach a computer to generate lo-fi hip-hop. So to start off, I did a little bit of research to see if anyone had done something similar so that I wouldn't have to reinvent the wheel too much. And as luck would have it, there have been multiple people who have tried to do this, and they've all written detailed blog posts about it. Another YouTuber even, Sabrina from Answer in Progress, tried to do this exact thing, and she made an incredible video on it, which you should definitely watch. I'll be including links to all of these sources in the description. Anyway, I, uh, replicated the methods from these sources, which all had a similar approach. I was mainly following this blog post by Nina Tremblay, which also provided a great dataset consisting of some juicy lo-fi-esque chord progressions. Quick aside, but if you're new to programming, it really isn't a great idea to blindly copy code. With these sources, I made sure to read through them, understand what was happening, and then I copied the code. The general approach I saw was to use recurrent neural networks, which are really good when you're trying to predict things from a sequence. For example, something like text prediction on your phones could use an RNN where you have a sequence of words, your sentence, and you want to predict what the next word is. We're going to be doing basically the same thing here, but instead of sentences, we're going to be using notes in a song. The full process looks like this. First, we're going to feed our dataset of lo-fi chord progressions to our RNN so that it can get really good at predicting notes in a sequence. Once we're happy with its performance, we're going to give it a single starting note for our new song. Then, we're going to ask it to predict a note over and over and over and over again until we have a complete song. Now, all that sounds fine and dandy, right? It was even pretty easy to get everything working thanks to all the code from the linked sources. And before I knew it, I had five AI-generated songs. Cool. But what we're really looking for is results, right? So let's have a listen. So that's what hot garbage sounds like. Okay, so there are a few reasons I think this might have happened. First, maybe I didn't train the RNN long enough, so I tried to train it for longer and nope, same result. Second is that there are certain things I could have tweaked about the RNN that might have made it perform better. So I went ahead and tried different configurations and same result. The last thing I could think of was the data. You see, RNNs and AI in general are only ever really as good as the data you give them. And the data we were using was full of great chords that would make for great building blocks for a lo-fi song, but they don't really give a sense for how to fit everything together into an actual song. We were basically asking a toddler to write a novel after giving them books about grammar. So, easy solution, right? Create a dataset of actual lo-fi hip-hop songs so that the RNN can learn how to fit notes together in the grand scheme of an actual song. Just one problem. Our program runs on MIDI files, and ain't nobody using MIDI files anymore. So there aren't any lo-fi hip-hop MIDIs out there, at least from what I could tell. So I opted for the next best thing, Final Fantasy. You see, I think Final Fantasy music has some very lo-fi vibes, and it even tends to be remixed into lo-fi songs. This, on top of the fact that there's actually a wealth of MIDI files for the series' music, made me think it'd be a great substitute. So I downloaded a bunch of lo-fi-ish Final Fantasy songs, slapped them into the RNN, generated a new song, and here are the results. You know? Better. It's music, and I'm kind of happy with that. 
I almost left it there, but man, I really wanted to hear something that sounded like the lo-fi hip-hop beats that I study slash relax to. So I did a little bit more digging, and I found this amazing paper project thing by the talented folks at OpenAI. It's this AI program called Jukebox, and one of the key advantages is that it can be trained on MP3s. It also just uses a much more modern, complex, and flexible approach to learning and generating sound. The details are outside the scope of this video, and I probably wouldn't do a great job explaining it anyway, but you should definitely check out their blog post if you're interested, or also this video by Yannick, who explains the details very well. The results of this approach, though, really speak for themselves. So I went ahead and downloaded Jukebox, and it was pretty easy to get things going thanks to their really good documentation. I ended up training it on some actual lo-fi hip-hop songs this time, by Lakey Inspired, for about three days straight. And here are the results. Pretty cool. I'm not sure why there are random drops though, but that's okay. It's lo-fi and that's awesome. Some things definitely went wrong though. Maybe it was my data or how long I trained the program or honestly just human error, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. I would try to amend some of these issues, but I have a weird feeling Google Colab is gonna get mad at me for having one too many overnight training sessions. So I'm probably gonna cool it for a bit and maybe return to this another day. And I guess that's where I'll leave this project for now. It was honestly a lot of fun and I feel like I learned a lot just thinking about and working on this kind of a problem. And honestly, it always shocks me how much we can accomplish with machine learning and even just programming in general. And I hope you can kind of get some of that feeling from this video, and hopefully you even learned something too. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more AI hijinks or some of the other stuff that I'm working on. Also comment, like, all the things. That'd be cool too. Thanks for watching. <laughs>